Hi everyone, it's your demo guy again. So in the next few minutes, I'd like to show you how Adobe powers the complete content supply chain with Adobe Gen Studio, from planning to production to delivery to analysis. And Adobe Gen Studio contains all the integrated tools to create on-brand content at scale uh, to create those personalized experiences at scale. I'd like to go through the three pillars of Adobe Gen Studio through the lens of Luma, a fictitious retailer uh, that specialized in sports gear. Let's switch to the demo. Okay, here we are, and we're live. I'm currently in Adobe Workfront, and I'm going to kick off a new autumn sports campaign uh, in Workfront. It's October, uh, the autumn is very nearby, and we, we're getting new sports gear that we'd like to present on our shop. Anyways, uh, over here I have all my different uh, campaigns that we're currently running within the organization. I can visualize these campaigns in time, as you can see, I've already created my new Autumn Arrivals campaign over here. When I dive in, you can see all the different tasks uh, and assets that are allocated to every different owner. You can see some approved assets. And um, this centralization within this campaign ensures we're all working towards the same goal. The nice thing is, is that Workfront empowers everyone to work and keep working in their own tools. For example, here you can see the second task, which is update the Autumn site image. So let's switch to creation and production of how we're going to update that site image. Okay, so I'm now a creative, uh, creative professional. Um, I'm not the marketeer anymore, so I'm in my favorite application, Adobe Photoshop. And here in Adobe Photoshop, I have my work list ready, where all my projects and tasks are listed. One of my tasks due tomorrow is the live outdoors banner. I need to update it with autumn colors. The nice thing is of this integration is that I can have feedback, I can collaborate with colleagues, uh, and I can send it for approval. Okay, so let's update this image very quickly with an autumn overlay. Add some dividers, looks nice. Okay, I can now upload it here straight in the Adobe Workfront plugin for the Creative Cloud. By the way, there are also different plugins for all different tools. Uh, this is just an example in the Creative Cloud. I can mark it as done, and the asset will be uploaded to AEM Assets for approval and maybe for feedback. Okay, let's switch to Adobe Experience Maker Assets. And here you can see that the uh, banner has already been updated in the DAM, uh, Adobe Experience Manager Assets. Like many organizations, Luma has creatives that are responsible for the creation of primary assets and imagery, like you can see over here. But frequently, marketers need to be able to create on-the-fly content that is on-brand and in line with brand gui guidelines. So, in that case, that's where Adobe Express comes in. Let's take this tent as an example. Here in Adobe Express, which is built for marketers to create on-brand con uh, on content that is in line with what creatives are, have already approved, you can see that I have some stuff already available for me, with logos, with colors, with fonts. I even can use templates, for example, for presentations, videos, infographics, or flyers and I can leverage some media that has been added to me. The example I'd like to show you today is, as uh, what already been mentioned by Johan, is that we're going to start soon to be able to train the Adobe Firefly model with your own products. So, for example, we have trained the Adobe Firefly model with this Luma Quest tent. You can see the Quest logo on the tent itself. Um, I can now, using the prompt, use this tent in Adobe Firefly and place it in an environment with mountains and a lake. Here you go. Here you have the Luma Quest tent placed in a generated environment by Adobe Firefly. So I can now add some text to it. Here we go. Where is my text? So 
So here I am. I've selected the text. Uh, I've added it in, in this example in a, in a different font. And by pressing the theme that has been pre-approved by creative professionals, I can now create this tent and it's, it's already on brand. So I can use it and activate it in, uh, in, in all my channels. So I'm saving it. It becomes available in all different sizes in AEM assets. And I can deliver and activate it in every channel. In this case, in the activation and delivery channel of Adobe Gen Studio. So let's switch to AEM sites. So you can see that the asset is already updated over here because of the connection with AEM assets. And here in the universal designer of AEM sites, I can now create my product page. I already have some, well, some details in here, some specifications. And again, I can leverage Adobe Sensei Gen AI to adjust the page with an optimized product description. I'd like to get it engaging. I want it to be brand aware. I already filled in my prompt. And here you go. The new text is generated and added to the product page. Adobe Sensei Gen AI takes into account that this is a product page. So you get a different text than you would expect. OK, I can now save this. And it's ready to be delivered. So let's fast forward in time and move towards content analytics. Here in content analytics, I can dig into the actual content performance of the assets of my, on my different channels. For example, over here, different websites, web pages. I can understand and measure the char characteristics of the experiences that resonate with my customers. For example, this is a specific web page with details where you can see that assets, how they are performing, top performing assets over here, page views, clicks, etc. And I can help my creative team to decide what content to create. I can even dig deeper by looking at the attributes. Pages with the most clicks, image color palettes with the most clicks, or even the text emotion in my pages that resonate the most with the most clicks. This is very valuable information. I can even create new audiences of people that I can retarget through uh, Adobe Journey Optimizer or maybe through advertising, as I demonstrated before. OK, let's switch to the conclusion. What you've seen very briefly is how Adobe powers the content supply chain with Adobe Gen Studio, aligning planning and teams around a single source of truth that enables efficient content creation led by creatives and assisted by AI. And for the first time in history, you can gain insights on how the content actually is performing. Thank you very much. Oh, 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 oh